Will the resin duck float? What use is a resin art duck mould if resin can't float? Or can it? You're probably asking why. Because I can. Right, we are back. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself with these crazy experiments, but we don't know. <laughs> until we try. So I want my duck to be yellow, of course. Now I have these two from the same set. They're both liquid dyes. Now, because I'm mixing this with UV resin, I don't want it to be opaque. Now these are both from the translucent set, but if you look at this normal yellow, that is definitely opaque, isn't it? Compared to this golden yellow, which is more translucent. So I'm going with this one, so I know it's gonna cure a bit better. My main concern with this experiment is how thick this mold is. Now it is semi-translucent, but it's not, I don't know, it's really thick. And I'm worried about the light, especially penetrating through the thicker part, which is the head. This could go horribly, horribly wrong. Okay, I'm running out of UV resin in this bottle, but the bubbles are gonna help. I want as many bubbles in this as possible. And then just top it up with a new bottle. I'm just going to add a few drops of this golden yellow. And I'm going to add some of the PVA just to help. So it's the clear elements. I'm slowly making a dent on this bottle. It's going to take me years probably. But I do want the resin to be thick enough to try and stop those bubbles from popping. As always, massive shout out to my channel members, anyone who's bought me a coffee or a super thanks. Very, very much appreciated. Really mixing some bubbles. Can't really get more bubbles than this. Right, the moment of truth. I'm gonna have to place this really close to the inside of the resiner's vacuum chamber, just so I can get that light as close to the mold as possible. And I'm probably gonna have to stop it and rotate it. But again, I'm gonna mask up and speed up that part of the video. I don't even know how much to put in there. We've come to the conclusion or the result that we need about a third of the total mass. But I haven't measured my mold. I'm really, really quite nervous for this one, especially the head, because I want it, I want the duck to sit on the surface of the water without being top heavy. If it's top heavy, it's gonna topple over. I might have to play around and try and counterbalance it in some way. I don't even know if that's enough but we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that to begin with. I'll pop that inside my machine, get the lid on. I'm quite nervous. <laughs> so we're gonna turn it on, get the light ready. When it rises high enough, I'm then gonna blast it with the light. Okay, I need to put some more in there because that wasn't reaching the top and I do not want to waste all of this resin. Right, this is the risky bit. I need to quickly turn it round. I don't want it to pop. Quick, 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 quick. I need to blast it from all angles. Right, now I'm thinking if there's any uncured resin in there, I can potentially tip the mold upside down and cure it. Hopefully it won't leak. So that would make it more weighted at the bottom. Oh, I'm really nervous. This could go absolutely everywhere if there's any holes. I 
I'm just hoping that the head has formed. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Well, I'm just gonna cure. I'm just gonna hold it here for a, a few minutes. Right, the moment of truth. It's gonna need some more curing once I get it out of the mold. I don't think it's gonna have cured. But has Mr. Ducky or Mrs. Ducky got a head? Or am I gonna break it as I demold it? Oh, we have, we, we have a hollow ducky. Now that is something, isn't it? Right, let's give that a bit more time. I'm hoping that's not a hole. If it is, I'm gonna have to repair the ducky. Just give it a bit more time under that light just to make sure. But we've got a duck. <laughs> okay, now does the duck have a hole? Yes. Okay, we're gonna have to perform some some small surgery. Luckily I have somebody yellow left. Just gonna fill in any holes that I can find because I don't want the duck to drown. I mean, all that resin, we don't want the duck to sink. I think that was the only hole. I've had a good look around, I can't see any more. But whilst it's still a little bit soft, I'm going to cut off the excess because I'm probably going to make one or two more holes. Hope, oh, hopefully not. I was about to say hopefully. Whoops! Don't panic. We can fix it. Luckily, the resin has PVA glue in, which is ideal for stuff like this. Someone told me three years ago that I'd be creating hollow ducks with resin on YouTube I would have told them where to go <laughs> so before I we, we do the float test I'm going to sand down just some of these dodgy areas because I want it to be balanced stay and of course, we need to give the duck some eyes. This is going to go bad. This is going to go really bad, I think. But as long as they resemble eyes, I don't care. Needed to put like a little white dot in there as well, don't I? Why did I go with the black and not the white with the black dot? I don't know. It was never going to be a normal duck, was it? Now just for the white dot. Where do I do it? That'll do. It looks a bit funny, but I don't care. It's an experiment. As always, massive shout out to my channel members, anyone who's bought me a coffee or a super thanks. So, now for the big test. Before we test the duck to see if it floats, you guys are gonna name it, and the top liked name in the comment section will become the duck's name. Please float, please float. Oh my God, how cute is that? We made, like, this has gotta be a world first. We have made a floating resin duck. On my channel now that is worth a sub look at it swim ducky <laughs> go be free that is incredible let's do a drop test no no but it does when you when you put it when you put it on the surface it does go it does float right for a first attempt that is pretty good. There probably are one or two little holes, but let's do a drowning test. See if any bubbles come out. Yeah, we've got some bubbles. So I will need to fix those. But that's where the ducky belongs. Not really ideal for water. Right, I hope you enjoyed that experiment. I will see you for the next one. We did it. Bye for now.